Because you know him pretty well, don't you? Well, I, I've got to tell you something. You know, we have a lot of wonderful entertainers in Nashville and also in Branson. And uh, this young man is uh, very funny. He opens for uh, Glenn Campbell at the uh, Glenn Campbell uh, Good Time Theater. And uh, he's been in my restaurant to uh, eat with us. Mm -hmm. So he's a friend. And uh, I'd like for everybody to make him, give him a great big round of applause, Mr. Jim Barber. You're going to love him. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. He's been in the cabbage patch a little long. He's kind of ripe. You going to pull your thumb out? Just pull your thumb out? Just pull. There we go. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, no. <laughs> Listen, I need to uh, find a, a babysitter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Oop, there it is. <laughs> I did a dinosaur. <laughs> Why do you call it a dinosaur? Because it's extinct. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, I... Baby. I'm getting hungry. Oh, I saw something here in the bag. Yeah. There you go. Oh, good. Yeah. Fill her up. All right. In the ear. Okay. <laughs> Milkshake. Milkshake. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to just put you back in the bag. Backflip. Backflip? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> One more. Oh, I'm going out. I'm going out. In the bag. Push. I'm trying. Push. Push. <laughs> this is like a cesarean in reverse. <laughs> there we got him. Anyway, if he belongs to you, please come up and claim him after the show. I'd appreciate it. There. <laughs> Thanks. You can applaud now. Hey. <laughs> Good last one. Uh, well, I want to thank Mickey and, and Lorianne for having me back tonight. I was on last night with my uh, sidekick, Seville, and you've made me feel so welcome here. I want to try something. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. As a ventriloquist, it's kind of difficult to come out in front of a group of people without a puppet or a prop, but you've been so nice. I'm going to, I'm going to sing for you by myself. <laughs> it would be good therapy for me, really. I've had a lot of problems. Uh, I even had ringing in my ears till I got my head unlisted. But... Uh, <laughs> but this is one of my favorite songs from the Broadway musical Les Miserables, or as they call it here in Nashville, Less Miserable. <laughs> and it's a great song. It's a little emotional, so you might get kind of choked up, but you know, feel free, let it out. We're crying each other's shoulders. We're all friends this evening. One of my favorites, I dedicate it to you all by myself, <laughs> and it goes like this. <clears throat> I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I gotta go now. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. Excuse me. I gotta go again. You just went. I gotta go now. Listen, I'm about to do a serious number. Yeah, me too. Oh, yes. <laughs> number two. Well, all right. <laughs> if you're really nice, I'll let you do the song with me, but you've got to play the part of the young man that was mortally wounded. <sighs> Leaky diapers. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my script? No, you, you don't have any lines because you're, um, you're unconscious. Oh. Yeah. On the knack door. Oh. <laughs> Have you studied acting? Mm hmm. Like what, Stanislavski method or Strasbourg? No, French. French training? Yeah. What was the name? Toilette. Toilette training? Oui, oui, oui. Ah. <laughs> but you know the secret to acting, though, it's not just you playing the part. It's not just me. It's the two of us together interacting, or we both. In theater, that's known as having we ness. I have a weakness. Yeah. No. No, I'm I saw it somewhere. Never mind, never mind. He's unconscious on the battlefield. I play Jean Valjean who sings a song to save his life. And it goes like this. Bring him home. Bring him home. That's good. Bring 
him home He's like the son I might have known If God had granted me a son The summers die one by one How soon they fly on and on It's okay, I am old and will be gone He is young He is only a boy You can take You can give Let him be Let him live If I die Let me die <laughs> Let him A nice voice. How come you're oh, not just, you. just in opera? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? The baby was throwing uh, it through me. I don't know. He's a ventriloquist. <laughs> That's too. what it was. That's Thanks. what it was. Well, good Thank to have you. you back again. It's great to be had. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. That didn't sound right, did no, it? No, no, it didn't. My husband is going, What is he talking about? <laughs> so I hear that you can perhaps teach Mickey and myself to Would do you? a little ventriloquism. Well, one of you has to volunteer to be the uh, partner. Hey. <laughs> well, actually, I'll, I'll uh, train everybody. <laughs> it's not too difficult. All you do is simply relax your face. Relax your face. Yeah, let your mouth slightly part open, kind of a natural looking mm -hmm. position. Okay. You want me to be the dummy? Right. Would you like to be? <laughs> I would prefer it that way. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sit on my knee, little boy. <laughs> it's an urbane cowboy. Hang on. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. The next step, let, you know, let your mouth slightly part, kind of a Jan Brady braces smile, all right? Okay. Then say the vowel sounds, because those are the easiest to do, kind of a A-E-I-O-U. That's right. Now that's, <laughs> that's, and everybody do it together. A-E-I-O. That's called a mass vowel movement. All right, now, you better get off my lap. I'm sorry, Mickey. I... Oh. No, no. And the consonants, are, the Can consonants. I volunteer for that? <laughs> I'm afraid you I don't do. even want to try the consonants. The letter B. That gets. Uh, when I was uh, little, I worked on the Bs a lot, and I got into the really, really hard stuff. I hate to admit it. <laughs> a bottle of beer, 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 bottle of beer. Too many of them. I had to step forward and admit that. Hi, I'm Jim, and <laughs> I'm hooked on phonics. <laughs> when I, a couple of years ago, you were named the funniest person in Tennessee. How? Did you I think have that was funniest audition? looking. I'm not sure. Funniest that, looking person. That was a contest that Showtime, the movie channel, had put on. That's this was right. years ago. In fact, Charlie Chase uh, interviewed me on his local show at that time. And it was great fun. It was well, what fun. did you do in order to win this? 
I don't know. I, they just told me I was funny, and I, <laughs> I, was, I think I was using the barber in Seville. I think that was the, one of the first times I used the barber in Seville character. And uh, since then, I've been touring all over the United yeah. States doing colleges, and I'm working with Glenn Campbell over in Branson right now. And it's a great show. I, I'm really loving it being there. Branson's a great town. Yeah, you it? enjoy it working is, with it Glenn? Is a good town. Yes, yeah, he's a great guy. I worked with him about six years ago for three days in Frankenmuth, Michigan, at a little Bavarian festival oh. there. And over the years, uh, the producer, Bill McClay, who's working on the show, remembered me that weird ventriloquist and mm -hmm. tracked me down and the weird one huh yeah <laughs> I was the weird one <laughs> the one that stuck out in their minds well you know what I, I got a lot of flack when I first started in Branson because I had a well, I used an opening act mm -hmm. and I, I would be sitting there signing autographs and I hear these people come through the autograph line you know and they'd say I tell you what we paid to get in to see Mickey Gilly he was only out there about an hour and five minutes so I went on to see Mel Tillis and he was out there for two solid hours and I knew that was the last, more like two and a half hours, because it takes Mel about 30 minutes to get oh. these out of the way, you know? <laughs> Shame on you. Well, folks, you are also looking at a man who was named Campus Entertainer of the Year as well. Really good at what he does. Thank you. This is Jim Marler. we got to pause here. We're going to be back with more of the show, though, in just a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> You can catch Jim Barber at the Glen Campbell Good Time Theater in Branson. Call 417-336-1220 for reservations. Now, stay tuned for Mate Match, next on Music City Tonight.